Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. God is calling us. He's calling me, you, this country. He's calling this world to a place of repentance. We have forgotten who God is that he is the Alpha and Omega, that he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, the almighty, all powerful, holy and righteous God. Like Israel, we've placed idols before him and the stench of our sin reeks in the nostrils of God. The climate in which we're living at the moment, we need God. We need his healing power to heal this world. We need to be willfully seeking God. As Isaiah 55 tells us to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. The time is now for us to be crying out to the Lord. Verse 7 says, let the wicked forsake the unrighteous, the ungodly forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let them return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. God will not meagerly forgive us of our sin. He will abundantly forgive. Why is he able to do that? Because he's not like man. He's a forgiving God. Verse 8 tells us that for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. God does not hold our sins against us. Man does that, but he is God. He's a forgiving God. But he's calling us not just to a place of repentance, but to a place of true repentance. Not asking him to forgive, to forgive us of a particular sin today and then tomorrow we go back and do the same thing. He wants us to truly repent of our sin. True repentance goes beyond remorse, regret, or feeling bad about one's sin. True repentance is a matter of the heart, a mind that is made up to fully change, wholeheartedly turning toward God. True repentance involves a sense of awareness of one's own guilt or sinfulness or helplessness takes hold of God's mercy through the sacrifices of Jesus Christ. But David in Psalm 51 gave us a perfect example of what true repentance looked like. David committed a grave sin against Uriah when he took his wife and caused his death. Like David, sometimes we are unaware of the sin in our lives. We have to always be before the Lord so that he can shine that light upon the darkness in our lives so we can know where we stand. David in Psalm 51, when after he found out or recognized or accepted that he had sinned against God, he says to have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. David had fully accepted where he was, the sin that was in his life, so that he could ask God, to remove them. Then he said, wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. There again, he's acknowledging his sin. If we are not acknowledging the sin in our life, then how can God remove it from us? Then he said, against thee and thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. In verse 5 he says, behold, 
I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Right here, he, he's reminding God, he's saying, Lord, look, remember, in sin I was born. My mother conceived me in sin. I was born into a sinful nature. I was born in sin, Lord. Then he says, behold, thou desireth truth in the inward parts. And in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. He desires truth in our minds, in our hearts. God is not looking at the outer man. He's looking at the inner man. Then he says, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. In so many different ways, David is asking God just to cleanse him, just to wash him, just to remove the sin in his life. Then he says, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Then he says, hide thy face from my sins and blot out mine iniquities. And then David says, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. And that is what we need. We need God to create a clean heart in us and renew a right spirit be, so we can be in rightness in his presence. God wants to talk to the inner man. He's not looking for the outside. He wants to talk to the inner man. He's looking at the heart, which is the mind. We are in a place of need right now. The need for healing. But let, let's heal our heart. Let's heal our mind. And let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And I know you will agree with me that based on where we are now, this is a time of need. We need his healing power. So let you and I come to a place of repentance, asking God, to create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.